Hello and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for faithfully watching videos from our channel. We always pray that you are always healthy and happy always. Don't forget to always support our channel so that we are more enthusiastic about making the next videos. Let's get started. In a quaint town, there lived a resilient woman named Lydia, who faced life with unwavering strength despite the challenges of being paraplegic. Every morning, Lydia began her day with a sense of determination, ready to embrace the tasks ahead. Her daily routine involved a carefully orchestrated series of movements, starting with the transfer from her bed to her wheelchair. Lydia had mastered the art of transferring gracefully, a skill that allowed her to navigate her home with ease. With each movement, she embodied a spirit that refused to be confined by the limitations of her body. After settling into her wheelchair, Lydia turned her attention to the crucial task of caring for her feet. Aware of the importance of maintaining circulation and preventing complications, she devoted time to inspecting and massaging There lived a remarkable woman named Sarah. She was a paraplegic, having lost the use of her legs due to a tragic accident years ago. Despite her physical challenges, Sarah was determined to live life to the fullest and inspire others to do the same. She had a passion for fashion and wanted to show the world that style and independence knew no bounds. Sarah was known for her positive attitude and a creative mind. One day, she had a brilliant idea to organize a meta show to demonstrate how to put on pants for paraplegic individuals, showcasing the versatility and adaptability of clothing. She wanted to break stereotypes and prove that fashion could be inclusive for everyone, regardless of their physical abilities. Sarah reached out to her friends, both able-bodied and differently abled, to participate in her unique event. She assembled a diverse group of models, each with their own set of challenges, to demonstrate the different ways pants could be worn by individuals with varying mobility. They practiced and prepared diligently, ensuring that their demonstration would be both informative and entertaining. As the day of the Meta Show approached, the excitement in the town grew. People were eager to witness this empowering event, where they could witness the magic of inclusivity and fashion come together. On the day of the Meta Show, a large crowd gathered at the town's community center. The stage was beautifully decorated, and there was a sense of anticipation in the air. Sarah, sitting confidently in her wheelchair, took the center stage, introducing the purpose of the event and the importance of embracing diversity in the fashion industry. Each model came out one by one, showcasing different techniques and adaptive clothing to put on pants. Some demonstrated how magnetic closures and adjustable waistbands made the process easier for people with limited mobility. Others showed how stylish, accessible trousers with innovative zippers could be comfortably worn. The audience was in awe of the creativity and thoughtfulness put into the designs. They cheered and applauded after every demonstration, moved by the determination and grace displayed by the models. Sarah concluded the Meta Show with a heartfelt speech, urging everyone to embrace their unique qualities and champion inclusivity in their own lives. She emphasized that fashion should be a reflection of one's personality, regardless of any physical constraints. The Meta Show left a profound impact on the attendees and beyond. News outlets covered the event, spreading Sarah's message of inclusivity and the power of fashion to break barriers. The event not only inspired people with disabilities but also ignited a broader conversation about the importance of representation and diversity in the fashion industry. As time passed, Sarah's Meta Show became an annual tradition, gaining popularity and recognition from fashion communities worldwide. It created a ripple effect, leading to increased efforts in making clothing more accessible and inclusive for everyone. Sarah's determination, creativity, and passion for inclusivity became a beacon of hope for many, reminding the world that one could turn adversity into an opportunity for positive change. Her meta show became a symbol of empowerment, reminding everyone that they can rewrite the rules of fashion and life itself, breaking free from stereotypes and embracing a more inclusive, accepting world.
Stretching exercises can be beneficial for paraplegic women to maintain flexibility, improve circulation, and prevent muscle atrophy. Here are a few stretching exercises that can be done on a bed. Upper body stretch. Sit on the edge of the bed with legs extended in front of you. Interlace your fingers and stretch your arms above your head. Lean slightly to one side, feeling the stretch along the opposite side of your body. Hold for 15 to 30 seconds and repeat on the other side. Hamstring stretch. Lie on your back with one leg extended on the bed and the other leg bent. Use a towel or resistance band around the sole of your foot and gently pull your leg up. Feel the stretch in the back of your thigh. Hold for 15 to 30 seconds and switch legs. Quadriceps stretch. Lie on your side with your bottom leg straight and your top leg bent at the knee. Reach back and grab your ankle or foot of the top leg. Gently pull your foot towards your glutes, feeling the stretch in the front of your thigh. Hold for 15 to 30 seconds and switch sides. Chest stretch. Sit on the edge of the bed with your back straight. Extend your arms straight behind you, interlace your fingers, and rotate your palms away from your body. Gently lift your arms, feeling the stretch in your chest. Hold for 15 to 30 seconds. Shoulder stretch. Sit on the edge of the bed and cross one arm over your chest. Use your other arm to support the stretching arm by holding your elbow. Gently pull your arm closer to your chest until you feel a stretch in your shoulder. Hold for 15 to 30 seconds and switch arms. Remember, it's important to consult with a healthcare professional or physical therapist to determine the most suitable stretching routine for your specific needs and abilities. They can provide personalized guidance and ensure your safety while performing these exercises. Okay, thanks for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe and share our channel, see you next time, thank you.